she does burnouts. Good morning, guys. What's going on? I've been gone for a little bit under a week. I got my Ferrari Master Certification or Master Technician Certification, so yay me. Uh, we're going to start on the 69 Camaro Yanko recreation today. Uh, as you can see, I've got a headlight that's out. Got a driver's front quarter marker that's out passenger rear quarter marker that's out and or sorry driver's rear quarter and driver's rear uh, reverse light so these are all probably just going to be bulbs my high beam works in the front I, I'm gonna guess if I come over here and shake this uh, can I get to it from behind here oh, no it's behind the battery yeah I'm gonna guess if I can shake the uh, can I yeah, oh no it's right there let me see let me get this out of my way. See if I can get my hand down in there. Yep, there we go. Yeah, so I got I just got a junk connection on that headlight. That's not a big deal. Let's see if I can get my hand out of there without cutting it. Um, so this I know I'm, I'm going to have to do some carburetor tuning on it. Uh, it also has... Uh, it has a wing nut that's down in the frame. Oh, I see it down there. That's good. This is the Rochester carb. Um, the choke needs to be massively adjusted. It is very bad. Cold starts suck on it. So I'm going to do my walk around, put it up in the air, make my list of stationary stuff, make sure it's good to drive. And then um, I will go and uh, take this on a test drive and see how this is. We, apparently we have somebody that's interested in this. So they wanted me to, to put this one ahead of the Chevelle. Uh, the Chevelle, you haven't seen it yet, but in a previous already recorded video, I did my inspection and up on the lift, and I just need to test drive that one. But they wanted me to get to this one first, so let me uh, go around and do my checks on this, and then we'll go for a drive. Okay, probably really loud, so I'm going to back up. So first things first, um, the idle was way too low, so it wouldn't idle off of choke. I still gotta turn it down, I just turned it up now. I'm gonna turn it down another couple hundred RPM. The passenger side idle mixture screw was out five and a half turns. The driver's side was out three turns. So I turned those all the way back in and undid them two turns a piece because that'll, that's a good around uh, area to start with for tuning these in. And then you can see with uh, a vacuum gauge or just by feel, how they're going back engage a little more accurate so I'm going to check my timing now turn this idle down a little bit and see if everything here looks good and then we're gonna put it up in the air and check underneath this okay we're up in the air I haven't checked ball joints and tie rods yet I gotta put that back down to do that uh, by all intents and purposes this is a driver quality car yeah. all right this is, it's uh, not not filming or anything. Um, it's a driver quality car. They have it's got very few leaks. They have basically undercoat bombed this whole thing. Um, it could have used some things like uh, new body mounts and whatnot. They're not horrible, but they're not awesome. Uh, here's one thing I don't understand. This is a custom exhaust from the manifolds all the way back. It's a bent, custom bent and installed the whole nine yards. This isn't a bolt-on kit, but if you go through all this to do a, a whole kit, why not put an H-pipe in? I'm just not sure about that. So I forget where I was because I had to talk to people, but um, yeah, so we got stuff like this silicone up here. Looks like old pan gasket seal. But yeah, we'll be pulling this pan down 
uh, blasting it, cleaning it, painting it, putting a good gasket, getting rid of that cork gasket. It needs the torque converter shield. No, no real leaks under the engine. A little couple drips from the drain plug, which is normal. Um, I got to check my power steering lines up there because as you can see, they're a little wet here and I did see some wetness up on the flares themselves. But yeah, why not, why not put a, an H pipe? I mean, just six inches of pipe right there. Um, oh, I did also notice, so these shocks aren't wet, that's all undercoating, but as you can see, they have helper springs on the shocks. I'm not thrilled about that. We might get rid of those and put some KYB uh, gas adjust or whatever. It has a, other side, has a um, axle seal leak. So we'll be doing axle seals, which means we'll also be doing our rear diff cover. I'm going to clean all that up. Uh, dirt wise it's not really rusty under here it's just overly undercoated um, like I'm, I'm just spoiled I'm used to you know rotisserie builds and stuff but this is not bad this is a this is a decent driver so I'm gonna actually put it down now check my ball joints and my tie rods and then I think let's see what time it is uh, it's four o'clock, so might have some time to go for a drive. We'll see. I don't think I'm going to today, though, because I'll probably get caught in rush hour stuff. But um, we'll see. All right, so I did my look underneath. Um, ball joints are all good. Tie rods good. Upper control arm bushings are wasted, so I've got to do those. Um, this bulb was blown. I replaced it. We don't have... The bulb in stock because we're Ferrari for the reverse light so I already checked it with the bulb that was not correct and it does work so we just need a bulb this front marker light was just completely missing the bulb and I cleaned off the headlights or oh, the terminals on this side so that's good um, I don't know Let me grab my light I'll show you this upper control arm it's uh, both sides, the rear bushings are wiped out. Uh, I did take it out back real quick. It uh, annihilated the tires in first gear, so carburetor feels good. I think I just need to do a little bit of uh, off idle tuning because it tends to, to dip down too low when uh, you're in lock to lock on the steering. But yeah, as you can see, that control arm bushing is just gone and yes i know the wires suck and that one in the back is awful close to the steering shaft but we're getting new wires with the correct angle boots and everything and uh black reproduction looking you know look like it's supposed to be on the car wires but as of right now i think that's it for tonight i'm going to go home do a little home improvement stuff i don't want to do and then uh, I'm going to take this out for a test drive tomorrow after it fully warms up and see how it is through part throttle RPM ranges and all that good stuff. Um, I mean, the little bit of dirtiness that's underneath of it, it's pretty solid. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this thing. Hopefully it runs and drives nice. Obviously it's probably gonna track like shit because of those front control arm bushings. And, um, the tires rub a little bit on the uh, inner fenders, so I have to see if I can clearance that. If not, we might have to step down just a small amount on those front tires because they are pretty big. Um, and that's that. So I guess I will see you guys tomorrow for the test drive. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Good morning. We're going to drive the Yanko Recreation today. Um, I played with the carburetor a lot last night and today. I've got, I think I've got my cold idle good, so we'll see. Um, drivability, we'll see when we get on the road, but all right, here goes nothing. Not bad. 
All right, I'm gonna roll this window up a little. Yeah, not bad. Okay, we're gonna pull it out so I don't stink the shop out. up out here for a second because that was just a completely cold start I might turn that down a little yeah we got some oh there we go some rattles in here some squeaks oh, okay there we go so we need to Get that thing bolted down. I haven't even looked and seen. Yeah, this all opens. We get some touch-up paint in there. Yeah. I might have to turn down this uh, high-speed cold idle a little bit. Probably about a quarter turn on that screw. What do we got? 60 pounds of oil pressure. Uh, so the voltage gauge just isn't wired. So I just need to run a ground and an ignition power to that. All right, well, let's see if it'll drive as cold as it is. Yeah, I definitely gotta turn this cold idle down a little bit. some rattles. Definitely got some tire vibration. Some three speed. Can't see nothing with the sun. It says we're going 60 right now, which we definitely are not. It doesn't have the right gear on the transmission uh, speed sensor. Non lock up TH350. Let's roll this window up. Doesn't feel bad. We're at 2500 RPM. Let's see what we are doing for speed. speedometer app. We are doing 45 and it says 55, so about 10 miles an hour off. Not bad. I'm going to stop over here first before our normal stop way up there because I want to see uh, where this idle comes down to. I want to make sure it's not going to stall out on me. You saw yesterday, my front brakes are just about done. Um, and my control arm bushings are done. So it's got a little bit of a decent wander in it. I had an issue yesterday where turning lock to lock, we were almost stalling. I uh, played with the idle air fuel a little bit and whatnot. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty good right there. Yeah, we're about... 8.50 or so. Settles right back down there. So I turned the idle screws, idle air mixture, fuel mixture screws out to three turns a piece. Seems to have smoothed everything out a lot more than it was. Yeah, we're still... Still doing that a little bit, but I mean, it's, it's a carb, so there's only so much you can do with it. We're gonna have to get a different size front tire. These front tires are too tall and wide, and they're rubbing the fender wells, which is not opportune. And I'm getting texts. Uh, I believe they're a 215 7015, so we're gonna have to go with a 215 
60 or 65 or I'd love to do a 205 65 15 but they don't seem to offer that in the BFG uh, radial TAs anymore so we might just do a set of four tires we'll see but so far it's not running that bad and nobody can figure out how to go cool six cylinder bud glad you had to rev it I definitely am not a fan of three speeds just no reason for it when you could throw a, a four speed in it now um, you know I don't I don't know if this fuel gauge reads correctly so hopefully it, it does because we're at uh, about an eighth a tank right now Welcome to morning traffic in Norwood. Everybody is the most important person they know. Well, she gets up and goes. So, engine and transmission wise, this thing drives great. It needs some suspension work and it's got a bunch of interior rattles. I'd like to do new front big block coils with uh, uh, some new shocks all the way around, the new tires, new brakes. That'll be a solid driver. Needs an alignment, obviously, after the control arm bushings. Probably could use a tune-up as well. So we're gonna do our stop here now. How's the temperature doing? Nice and hot. All right, we got good heat. We'll turn that down right there. Let's take a look under the hood yeah that feels good maybe some motor mounts it feels like it's a little rougher than it should be idles a little high so I might have to turn that down a little tiny bit good everything feels good definitely forgot my screwdriver under the hood uh, right, so we have all right we have full vacuum going to the vacuum advance instead of time vacuum, which is not a big deal. Engine wants a little bit more timing. All right, everything looks decent here. Now that we've fully warmed it up, we're gonna take it back and check all the fluids. I did check them previous. It's got plenty of fluids in it, but now that it's warmed up, I can check my transmission level and whatnot. Unless I can clearance those front inner fender bolts to fit these tires, we will be putting a different size tire on it.
windows need some work to line those up. Yeah, rattles all over. nice if it kicked down into a fourth gear here instead of sitting at 2700 rpm it's definitely not a highway cruiser Get some rattles from this driver's door. So driver's door and dash has rattles. shop I'm gonna throw the exhaust hoses on it and throw my vacuum gauge on it and see where we are we might open up those uh, idle air mixture screws just a little bit more yeah this thing needs one more gear Good tire vibration. Probably just replace all these. They uh, definitely feel like shit. And some wind noise. Like I said, these windows definitely need to be adjusted. And we're in traffic. This is the product of people not knowing how to go through an intersection that's about a mile and a half up there. Ridiculous. All right, finally, I get to where I need to turn. And of course, the light must have turned green for these other idiots. Great. stupid Those secondaries open right up Definitely very floaty with those blown out upper control arm bushings. That's no fun. You hit the brakes and it just kind of starts darting. Running right about 190. This has a flex fan, mechanical flex fan on it, no, uh, no clutch fan or anything.
does burnouts. But I can make a three point turn and it doesn't stall, so that's good. Oh, she does peg leg burnouts. So this is an open differential. Might have to change that too. Well, yeah, I mean, that was pretty decent. I mean, besides the rattles and shit and darting from the woolen suspension, it actually runs pretty fucking damn decent. There's that rubbing on the fender. All right, so we're going to pull it in, check some fluids, start doing up my list for what this vehicle needs to be able to be put on the front line. Not bad. 